Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another eBay reselling video. There's a few things that I want to talk about real quick before we go to the Goodwill. Uh, last week, I did not go thrifting, and there's a good reason for that, and that is because a lot of the items that I have are not really selling right now because most of the things that I have on my eBay store are these, like polo, golf, you know, short sleeve polo golf shirts. And uh, if you're not in the South, you're not really looking to buy that right now because everywhere it's either snowing or very, very cold. No one's looking to wear polo shirts right now. But the reason I'm stocking up on these types of shirts is so I can have a banging spring and summertime because if you don't know in the spring and summertime is when DoorDash really really slows down the volume of orders just drops there's not many people ordering and it's very very hard to make money on DoorDash in those seasons so I'm setting myself up to make a lot of money through eBay to kind of like uh to offset the loss that I'm gonna have uh, during those seasons, if, if that makes sense, right? So uh, we are going to go to Goodwill. Hopefully we can find some good things. I am waiting on girlfriend. She's taking forever, man. Anywho, hopefully we find some good things, man. I need to, I'm really trying to build my inventory. It's just, it's kind of been hard because a lot of stuff that I find is just stained up completely or broken, doesn't work. It's just so many things go there's a lot that goes into reselling that people don't really understand right people think it's like oh you just buy something and then sell it like gary v makes it look so easy it's not that easy there's a lot that goes into it and i hope that i inspire people to try no, I, that's that's right I, mean, I just hope that i inspire some people to go and make their own ebay stores and make their own money but let's go to goodwill see what we can find yes sir ski here we are back at the goodwill i always start with the polos because i can find some really good polos man this one is an oxford golf polo i've been finding them a lot in my goodwills and they're actually worth some they're, they're worth some decent money man a few shirts later i found this nike golf polo now normally i don't like to pick up nike golf polos just because the goodwills always like price them so crazily but if it's a cool design like this i'll pick it up and see if i can get any good money for it when i resell it you guys Guys know how much I love picking up Callaway golf polos man as long as they're opti dry man these things are excellent money makers they resell for really good money and I can get them for like five dollars at my goodwill continuing on with the polos I found this sweet Greg Norman one look at the design on it look at the buttons on it it is such a clean shirt man you know I had to pick that up I love picking up Greg Norman shirts and I'm just looking man I'm still in the same row if you look I'm still in the same row look at that another Greg Norman now this one did not have the shark out front but I still picked it up and you'll see why I'm looking at it it's a nice shirt I'm looking at the arms to see if there's anything and boom right there look at that little like emblem type thing on the sleeve right there and you don't really see those with Greg Norman so I had to pick that up because I know that's gonna sell for some really good money if you are just getting into reselling Vineyard Vines is probably one of the best resellable brands that you can find now with this polo shirt it's not you can't really tell on camera but in person it was a little Faded. I went ahead and picked it up thinking maybe if I could wash it, maybe it'll be better. Uh, but I did find stains with that. And then literally like a second later, look, I find this Under Armour polo. And under the, I think this was like $5. They wanted $5 for the Under Armour, but like 8 for the Nike. And the Under Armour sells just as good as the Nike polos do, which is crazy. I was able to find another J. Hain Barnes shirt. This one is a long sleeve button down, which isn't my favorite to pick up. But J. Hain's Barn is actually a really really good brand overseas so I had to pick it up do I even have to repeat myself man another Greg Norman man I'm telling you if I see any Greg Normans that are not stained in really good condition like this I am picking them up these things will fly off the shelf in spring and summer and then look at this I see a brand new Nike shirt I'm like hold on now I'm looking at it Seminole Hard Rock Casino and I just thought that was really cool I wanted to pick it up because it was brand new and maybe there's maybe there's an enthusiast that wants to buy that that out there here's another oxford golf polo this one is actually brand new and it has an embroidery of a country club which doesn't really it doesn't lose any value because it has that embroidery i had to pick that up those oxford golf polos will sell for some good money man i always thought these chef jackets were like such premium things because when you look at them they're like such they're high quality they look good and i, I watched a lot of gordon ramsay so i'm like oh yeah this has to be worth some money i ended up looking that up and you can actually get these for like 15 
$15 on eBay. I finally get done looking at all of the polo shirts and the short sleeve button down, so I move over to the bags. I've been trying to get into bags ever since I sold that uh, pink Victoria's Secret one, and wouldn't you know, I find another Victoria's Secret bag. This one, I don't, I don't remember what the problem was. I think it had a couple rips in it, a couple stains. I think I ended up putting that back just because it didn't look like it doesn't when you buy something to resell you kind of want it to look as good as possible and that just looked kind of like run down and dingy so i'm just looking at all the bags and i've actually never seen this many bags stacked up because of the holiday season they're literally just like stock they're stacking up the shelves with everything possible that they have in the back and you'll see later on when we go to the second goodwill i did find a freaking awesome bag i found a couple awesome bags oh this was actually really funny i thought this was another victoria's secret one um, oh, I, I tried opening it to see maybe if i could see like a pink logo or victoria's secret but it wasn't it was just a random bag so i put that back I finally make my way over to the toy section and miscellaneous section and I find some money. You know, I got I got I got a good eye to find some money, man. Unfortunately, it wasn't real money. I expected a lot of stuff to actually be here. You can see in the cart a little bit to the side. Girlfriend did come here and she found a couple things, but to be fair, I mean, it was just a bunch of garbage, man. It really nothing was really worth it. You could get the board games if you sell on like Amazon FBA, but if you're selling on eBay, those board games really don't sell good and they don't sell for a lot of money. Money. I always try to look through these bags seeing what I can find but a lot of them I'm telling you guys if you get these types of bags like just don't because a lot of times they're like they're not worth it make sure you always open these bags before you buy them like you, you're allowed to do that they, they do not they don't you're not gonna get in trouble for opening the bags but I'm just looking around and in all honesty man I just can't find anything here I just gave up with the toys I ended up turning around to look at the miscellaneous section and I mean you can see it for yourself if you guys see something that I didn't man let me know down in the comments comments but I literally tried to look every single place there's a little babushka getting in my way right here man I'm trying to see what I can find what what did I pick up here man I mean look at this that, that, that ain't worth no money man I'm just I'm, I was struggling man I had to pick up something I ended up putting that back that wasn't worth it I picked this up this wasn't worth it it was just it's just, it just nothing was worth it man nothing at all and that's when I just gave up and I started looking through the things that girlfriend found to see if she found anything significant but at the time Everything looked like trash. My last stop in the Goodwill does come with looking at the t-shirt section. Now I never have to worry about the t-shirt section because even though a lot of people look through these, no one actually picks anything up. Like I just found this Jordan jersey. Like what? why would that Jordan jersey be there? Then I find an LRG shirt. I'm telling you guys, I do not have to worry about any resellers when it comes to t-shirts. Polos maybe. I always want to check the polos. I mean look at this. Like three in a row. Here is an Allen Iverson, the answer jersey like dude that was three in a row first the jordan then the lrg now the allen iverson i'm telling you when i was here looking at the polos there was at least like 20 30 people looking through this and you're telling me nobody picked up this authentic allen iverson jersey i was thoroughly disappointed when i picked this shirt up and it said friends instead of family because if you know dom toretto from the fast and furious series man he's all about family you know i had to put that back i was upset bro if it didn't say if it, if it would have said family i would have bought it when i saw this jersey i thought i hit the jackpot because if you look at it it's a redskins jersey and the redskins it, it, it was the washington redskins now they're changed to the washington football team i thought i hit the jackpot with this but it really wasn't worth anything what's crazy is i live in florida but we get a lot of chicago bear stuff and i've actually sold some chicago bear stuff on my ebay page now the sad thing about this was it was eight dollars and i just found out there's a stain on it so i did oxyclean it and i'm hoping once it comes out the washer that it's not stained anymore all righty we made it to the second goodwill it is a gloomy day Let's see green tags today for some reason in my goodwills it's very hard to find lacoste shirts that are in really good condition but if you do find these shirts in good condition pick them up because these things resell for like 20 to 30 dollars each here's another nike golf polo shirt again if you saw the price tag eight dollars for this thing so if i could sell it for 20 and make like four or five maybe six dollars profit i mean i'm cool with that as long as there's no stains so when i found this lacoste shirt i didn't know if it was real because i've never seen the spell out like like this I can barely even get the shirt sleeve out I ended up texting one of my friends to ask him like is it real I see the logo on the back and he actually did respond he said it looks real so I had to pick that up 
And then I kept moving on, man. We, we, we always about making this money. Now, if you remember in the first Goodwill, we actually did pick up this exact same shirt. This one did have a problem that I couldn't possibly fix with the uh, thing on the back there where I'm pointing. So I had to put that one back, which is kind of sad. Moving on, we found some more Greg Norman action. Now, the problem with this one was there was no shark on the sleeve, no shark up front. There was a shark on the back, though. So that's why I ended up putting that one back. And then the next one I find is another Greg Norman for Tasso Elba Play Drive. This one did have a shark up front, very clean on the back. I don't think it had anything on the sleeves, but as long as it's on the front, man, it's really not. It's it's always a good pickup, as long as the shark is on front or on the arms. If it's on the back, it's not a good pickup. This is another case of, I can't believe I found this so late in the day. It is a Peter Millar Summer Comfort. You can see it does have an embroidery that's not a Peter Millar embroidery, but it is a Peter Millar, dude. It doesn't, like, the embroidery for Peter Millar's don't matter. Like, as long as it says Peter Millar, it's, oh, look, this one was so weird. This is a Lacoste Live. I think this one was fake. If you find a Lacoste Live shirt, I don't think those are real. I think the only real ones are the ones that say Lacoste. After I got done looking at all of the polos, I always check this section and I actually never find anything that is worth it. I've only came close one time, but if you look at it, I mean, it's just like how, who donates this stuff, man? This, this, this cannot be donated stuff. This just has to be stuff that they literally found in the garbage. You can see how fast I literally go through it and I'm already gone, man. Already on to the next section. This is something new that I'm trying to get into. I'm looking at all of the bags and backpacks. You can see I found the Michael Jackson bag and I was looking for something I was looking for for like a print to say what brand this was from and I couldn't find it anywhere but I'm checking out all of these different bags and backpacks and you'll see later on I actually found some that are like they're potentially worth some really good money so I'm going through and I found this banana backpack but it's not just a banana backpack it is a Jan Sport backpack now Jan Sports sell for some really good money I'm looking at it I see a bunch of stains on it and it was uh, like I was I even over overlooked it just because of how much these bags can sell for at the time I actually even overlooked the stains on this thing I was even able to find myself a Tommy Hilfiger backpack. It, the only issue with this one was it was really faded. If it wasn't so faded, I definitely would have bought it. But I really didn't take a second look. As soon as I saw the fade on that, I was like, yep, can't buy that. But you can see just one by one going through every single bag, making sure I don't miss anything. And there it is, another Jansport backpack. But again, there's so many stains on it. I don't know what it is with people in like staining up their Jansport backpacks. You can see me looking it up right now. I'm telling y'all, man, I, I, I know what I'm talking about. This backpack was worth some money. When I was going through the bags, I didn't think much about this pink bag, but when you take a look at it, it is actually a Victoria's Secret pink bag. These things sell for some really good money. Now, again, the only issue is, for some reason, every single bag that I picked up that had, like, a color on it, if it wasn't a black bag, every single color of every bag had so many, like, marks and stains on it that it just wasn't worth it i still went ahead and picked it up man i had to throw it in the cart i had to see how much it was worth and this fortnite backpack was definitely not worth it now look at this this is where you become a pro at reselling i went ahead i went through everything i see this one black bag now this black backpack is an asus like g37 17 inch laptop bag and i had to see how much this thing was worth Think about this now. It was all the way at the end. It was one of the last things that I found all the way at the bottom of the uh, of the bin, whatever whatever you want to call this. And it was worth, I think, I think the backpack was about $8 to buy. And I think I'm reselling it for like $45 or $50. Look to the right. I went through all of those bags and all of those were not worth anything. And then this one backpack, man, I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, no freaking way this thing is worth that much. I'm getting all the things off of it, wiping it off. You know I had to pick this bag up, man. And that's where the journey pretty much ended for the day. I took a look at these last few bags, decided that there wasn't really much going on here because it was like luggage style things so i took everything i had checked prices and went home and let's see what we bought all righty guys hopefully it is not too dark i do have the christmas tree on and the light in the kitchen it's just been off and on raining all day hey bentley what's up man it's been off and on raining all day and it's just so cloudy outside so i'm gonna try to make this the best that i can with the little with, with the minimal light that i have so starting with the first thing that i bought is a peter millar medium brand new it is a 
a 2018 US Open or US Women's Open polo. These things, even though they have this like embroidery right here, these things still sell so good. Next thing we have, the Hard Rock Casino. Man, it's just so dark. You, you barely can see anything. Hold, hold on, let me try moving everything over here a little bit. It's a Seminole Hard Rock Casino polo and it is Nike. So I'm hoping this sells for some good money. The next thing is an Oxford Golf. Lately, I've been getting into Oxford Golf and I especially bought this because it was brand new. It is from a country club. And here's the thing, right? If you buy a shirt and there's a country club like embroidery on it, pick it up because people people that can't afford to go to the country club will buy country club things. It's all about fashion, right? People will buy things that well, you, you know how it goes. <laughs> Anyways, we got some Greg Norman action. You guys know I love picking up Greg Norman. I only pick it up if it's Play Dry or, or Greg Norman by Tasso Elba. I love picking up Greg Normans. They're just so nice, and, and the logo is always so nice. If you guys could actually see it. Next thing, Jay Hain Barnes, which you can't even see. It is a really, really nice button down. I wish it uh, man... Man, I need some better light, man. All right, I moved a little bit over here. Hopefully, it's a little bit easier to see. It's another Greg Norman play dry. Uh, there is no shark. If you can see, there's no shark here, but there is a shark on the arm right here, which looks really, really cool how it looks. This is the only reason I bought this shirt. I think it'll sell really good. Actually, I did find two of these at the Goodwill, and this was the only one that was worth it because the other one was messed up right here, if you remember. Uh, next thing we have another Greg Norman. This one is for Tasso Elba. Just, I mean, I just love picking up Greg Norman. They sell good. I sell them for 20 bucks. I buy them for five. That is a proper flip, man. Uh, we got another Nike golf shirt. Really, really nice clean shirt. This one is for women. It's got a little embroidery right here for Bel Air, CC, whatever that means. But this is for women, man. Still, It's still going to sell for $20. Next thing we got is another Greg Norman. And I picked this one up because it has this really cool, like, pattern on it and people love designs they love patterns it's a really nice logo on there really nice shirt in my opinion if i if i was what size is this if i was man this is a large that's a, that's kind of a tiny large anywho we got some under armor action what's going on with this over here there we go fix that up man you don't want to mess up the shirt before it gets to the customer under armor polo these things also sell for some really good money and this one i was thinking of keeping for myself man it is a the answer alan iverson jersey that is so 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 sick man i really want to keep this for myself maybe i'll actually give this away if it doesn't sell i might give this away to, to one of you guys oh man we got some lacoste action reason i bought this one is because of this it just looks so nice it also has it on the back right here you can see the little gator on the back right there really nice shirt slim fit xl good size next is another oxford golf i was on the edge with picking this one up just because there's not much to it. It's just a striped polo shirt, Oxford golf. Not really many. It is, it's got one little embroidery thing on the arm, but that's pretty much it. Moving on, we got another Nike golf polo, if you guys can even see that. It's a pretty nice shirt, man. It's got the two-tone color. You got the dark blue, light blue, or like aqua, or whatever this color is. I just thought it looked really nice, man. The price was right, and I'm going to resell it for some good money. And then we got some Callaway. Y'all know I love Callaway, only if it's OptiDry. If it is not OptiDry, do not buy it. It's got a nice little embroidery right there. Nowhere else, but I, it's a good size XL, and it should sell pretty fast. Uh, another Lacoste. I've lately, if you can find Lacoste polos, they sell for some really, really good money. It's got a little embroidery right there. Another uh, Slim Fit XL should sell pretty fast. And then girlfriend found this one. This one is a Victoria's Secret jacket. I don't like doing jackets, and I don't do. I don't like doing long sleeve things just because. It's hard to take pictures of, but Victoria's Secret is a really good brand and it sells for some really, really good money. You can see that right there, Victoria's Secret. Moving on to the Christmas tree, I did get a Mickey Mouse little plush right here. This thing sells for, like, if you can find Mickey Mouse plushes, these things sell for $15 plus easy, dude. And I got it for like $2.15. And then over here, I got these two... Uh, Vogart decorative doubles. They were $2 each, so $4 for the pair. And I'm selling it for, I think, about $17 or $18. So that should be a pretty cool flip. And then this is a big flip. You guys can, it's just, it's just a black thing in the middle of the screen. It is an Asus backpack. It's a laptop backpack for Asus. And I didn't even realize it, but I bought this backpack for $7.97 and I'm reselling it for I think like $45. So this backpack is worth a lot of money. And then back here we have this, uh, which I don't even know if I showed in the video just because 
Uh, it was like towards the end, they were putting stuff out. It's a Raya, the last dragon, uh, little figure thing. The only issue is that I think it needs new batteries because I've tried everything to get this thing to work. There's like a switch down here and, uh, it just, nothing works. Like I, I put it in the listing that you need a new battery. So if someone does buy it, I think I'm selling it for like $30 and the only other listing of this I think two other listings of this are selling it for like 40, 50, 60 bucks. So yeah, that's everything that I bought.